This is the Smart Material Smart Charge Beginners Tutorial. This is an overview of what we will look at in our tutorial. First, an introduction into the topic of strain gauges. Then, going on to the Smart Charge and how it works as an amplifier for piezoelectric strain gauges. We will look at its components, how to use it, and last our conclusion. Strain gauges were invented by Edward E. Simmons and Arthur C. Rouge in 1938. A strain gauge is a device for showing the strain of a material or structure at the point of attachment to measure how much something bends, elongates, or contracts. Strain gauges are commonly used in mechanical engineering research and development to measure the stress generated by machinery. I have simplified them down to four. Wire strain gauges, foil strain gauges, semiconductors, and the newer piezoelectric strain gauges. The smart charge acts as an amplifier for a piezoelectric strain gauge. Smart charge is a specialized charge amplifier used to measure strain with the MFC. It utilizes smart material store and hold technique to measure charge output. The measurements of static or low frequency deformations using piezoelectric strain is a big engineering challenge. The piezoelectric strain gauge generates a charge proportional to the strain, and the charge will dissipate in a relatively short time period because of the finite input impedance of the data acquisition circuits used. Therefore, strains less than 1 Hz were difficult to measure reliably with the piezoelectric devices. Smart Material developed and devised a store and hold technique using Smart Charge. This transfers the generated charge to a high volt leakage free capacitor. Meanwhile, the charge proportional voltage across the capacitance can be measured closely, load free, with a special designed high impedance operational amplifier. This guarantees constant output signals over up to 3 minutes without significant drift. The smart charge, therefore, acts as a charge amplifier and allows the voltage output to be held and stored for measurement. The block diagram to the right of the photo shows the store and hold technique on the smart charge, which acts as a specially designed high impedance operational amplifier that stores output into an adjustable amplifier. The sensor types that are best for use with the smart charge is the P2 MFC that uses D31 effects for actuation as well as monolithic piezo elements. Let us take a look at the smart charge in greater detail. The smart charge's size is 60 mm by 15 mm, or about 2.5 inches by a little over half an inch. On the left you will see the output allowing for attachment of an MFC or piezo element to act as the piezoelectric strain gauge. On the far right, note your different input and outputs for supply voltage, signal output, and signal ground. Next, look at your reset switch labeled 1. This resets output voltage to 0. You have three sensitivity selectors labeled 2, 3, and 4. These change the amplification of the measured charge from the MFC. For further specifications, the smart charge's input channel is one electric charge input. The gain can be selected at 1, 10, or 100 with the DIP switches. The output displays the amplified signal. The output voltage ranges from negative to positive 2.3 volts. The smart charge's power supply is a 9 volt block battery or a wall adapter that ranges from 5 volt to 15 volt. The size is 60 millimeters by 15 millimeters. Now that we have an idea of the smart charge's components and general specifications, let us see what our smart charge can do. First, of course, unpack the module from the box, that would be helpful. Take a look at the photo to the right. This is how you should set up your experiment. Your first step is to connect the DC and signal output, as shown in the photo here, to the smart charge module. Do not attach the MFC sensor to the charger right now. Make sure you follow the picture or the pin configuration for the quad connector, otherwise the modules may be damaged. The zero volt and signal G and D pins are internally not on the same potential and may in principle not be connected. Switch on the DC power supply and your measurement supply. 
You can use an oscilloscope or a digital voltmeter for this. Reset the onboard reset switch to on. It will short the capacitor and reset the output voltage to zero. It will also protect the circuits from input spikes while connecting. Next, connect the MFC. Make sure that the piezo element was discharged before you connect it to the smart charge, otherwise the module can be damaged. The sensitivity can be adjusted on your sensitivity switches, times 1, times 10 or times 100. Do not use more than one sensitivity switch, the smart charge will not work. Set the sensitivity selector times 1 to on and turn the reset switch off. The smart charge is now ready to measure any deformation of the MFC sensor in a quasi-static or dynamic manner. You can change the sensitivity to have a higher amplification of the smart charge depending on your signal strengths from the MFC. Turn the screw more and observe how the bending of the cantilever to which the MFC is bonded changes your output. Next, graph your findings. Use an Excel spreadsheet or whatever works best. Note that the charge bending of the beam is equal to the strain in the beam. The more you compress or stretch the MFC, the more charge you will generate. Therefore, the value stays constant once you don't bend the beam anymore. The smart charge system can be set back to its original stage using the reset switch. Do keep the reset switch at on any time when the module is not connected to the power supply. A smaller long-term DC drift of the output signal is normal and typical for this type of charge-related measurement circuits. Also make sure not to turn on more than one sensitivity switch at once, although it is tempting. The smart charge will not work correctly. Thank you for choosing the Smart Material Smart Charge tutorial as your guide to the Smart Charge module. If you have any questions or feedback, please contact us or email info at smart-material.com or Facebook page name Smart Material USA, all one name, and our website www.smart-material.com. Enjoy smart charging.